What's up guys, I'm Olivia and you're watching Driving and Vibing. Today we are going to show you all around where we've been camping the last month, so stay tuned. Welcome back to our channel everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining us today and a big thank you to our partners at Luxury RV Resort where we've been staying the past month. We've been in Gulf Shores now for two months and we've really been enjoying it. Our first park was down on Fort Morgan Road. It was a little bit quieter, more secluded. Luxury RV Resort is right in the middle of all of the action. So we are with walking distance to the beach to tons of restaurants and shopping and grocery stores. There's a, a nice little trail um, that we can follow right out of the park down to the beach and it goes by a little waterfront area if you can tell right here beside me behind um, our site here there is like this little I guess it would be like a marsh area and a boardwalk and just lots of really beautiful nature over here without being right on the intensity of the ocean Before we get into all the fun stuff there is to do in Gulf Shores, we'll tell you a little bit about the park itself. There is 30 and 50 amp sites here. There is room for big class A's and fifth wheels. They have laundry facilities on site that are really nice. The bathrooms are just remodeled and really nice tile clean bathrooms. Sometimes the campground bathrooms can get a little sketchy, but these are very, very nice and clean. They have a clubhouse on site as well. They just redid the boardwalk to that. So if you have an event or get together, you can use the clubhouse. But as with the last park we stayed at in Gulf Shores, the location is kind of everything here. One side, we see all the condos. We can hear the ocean right now. On the other side, we see Waterville, a water park where you can go spend the day during the summer. There is just so much to do around here. And you can walk or bike to pretty much all of it. So we're here at the entrance of the RV park and if we take a right, we can go to the original Oyster House right down the road or we can take a left and go three blocks to the beach and that's what we're gonna do right now. So as we're walking down this path, there are souvenir shops, there's an Italian ice place, ice cream places, restaurants, uh, like a place where you can get hair wraps and hennas and all sorts of fun beach stuff. Pretty much a typical beach scene, lots of beach vibes going on. And we are definitely partial to a few of these restaurants around here. There's great seafood here. Um, Picnic Beach was a fun restaurant to go to as well that had kind of more of a clean eating vibe. And then right across the street down here before we get to the beach is the iconic Hangout, which is a restaurant. And they also put on the Hangout Music Festival every year. If you're not into music festivals, I would suggest avoiding Gulf Shores and Orange Beach area in that time of year. This is the Sunliner Diner. We had breakfast here the other day. It is a cool like 50s themed diner. They have cool classic cars outside and even one inside that has a booth inside of it that you can sit in. So it's a fun kind of quirky environment, especially like for kids. I think they would really enjoy it. Cool to check out. down to the beach and the sun has been setting it's been beautiful um, there's tons of park area here there's a nice playground over here on the side of us 
some restrooms and showers available. And obviously all this beautiful beach area, it is also wheelchair accessible on many sections of the beach. There are some volleyball nets down the way. There is a lot of cool things to do while you're down here. Because it is so close to the park, we take River on a walk here every evening. We take the baby on a stroll. She usually takes her nap around this time. And we get to just spend some time together. So it's nice for us to all get out as a family, stretch our legs, and enjoy the beautiful scenery. And this is just such a nice time of year, too. It's been nice and cool, but not too cold. So it's been a, a nice change up. We don't usually go to the beach this time of year, but it's really beautiful actually. We just recently got an e-bike as well and Kyle has been riding it down here almost every day. He has put a lot of miles on that e-bike so far. We've had a lot of fun with it lately, just kind of experimenting. We haven't had a bike the entire time that we've been on the road, so it's been a nice way to be able to explore the city. And though we are locals from the area this is a, a city that we don't normally come to because it is normally a tourist destination but it has been really fun to play tourist for a while and get to experience some of the things that we're not really used to we didn't know a lot of these places were down here and we haven't um, come to the beach in a really long time actually so it was way overdue if you take a right out of the RV park, you can access the state park trails as well. And that's a really good system to go on walks and bike rides as well. So we have had a great two months down here at the beach. It has been a lot to soak up and enjoy. We are heading down to Florida next to the Tampa RV show. So hopefully we'll see some of you guys there. But if you're looking for a place to stop on the way through Alabama, this is definitely a great place to check out. We'll put links down in the description below if you're interested. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was helpful and informative for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And we'll see you guys next time.